Hello everyone, I'm Kerry Liu and welcome to Silver Style Studio. Have you seen ads for neck serums, neck creams all over your social media feed? I have. These skincare companies know that as we women get older, many of us hate our necks. And that's sad to me because we lose our heads without them for one thing. Uh, they do a lot of work. Do you know our head weighs about 20 pounds and the further we bend our neck, like when we're looking at our phone, the heavier your neck gets. Like you just think if you were holding a weight above your head, it probably wouldn't weigh that much. But the further out you put your arm, the heavier it gets. So if you're looking at your phone all day, that could be like a 40 pound weight that your neck is trying to deal with. So you're going to get what they call tech neck. So not only is it going to hurt the actual bones and muscles in your neck, it's going to cause all these lines and wrinkles, what we call necklace wrinkles in your neck, especially if you do it for 20 years or a lifetime. So it's a good idea that when you're on your phone, you hold it at eye level. Then people are going to think you're taking their picture, but who cares? Don't you find that as you get older, you don't care what people think as much? Like for instance, when I'm in the doctor's office waiting for my appointment, I might just get up and I start stretching. You know, things that it doesn't harm anybody else and it's good for you, it's your time. You're getting older. We kind of don't have as much time left. <laughs> So you want to be very possessive of your time. It's like, if I want to stretch in my doctor's office, I'm going to stretch. Maybe I'll do a little yoga. Maybe we'll start something. Just like anything else about your body, your neck is affected by genetics and posture, uh, positions while you're sleeping, sun exposure over a lifetime. I was about 25 years old when I started to actually use uh, a sunscreen on my chest too. Before that, it was considered very glamorous to have a nice honey colored tan. And some people still believe that now, but um, I don't bake my chest anymore. So let's talk about these uh, specialty neck creams, because why not just use a body lotion? Or why don't you just bring your face cream down your neck. That's kind of what I always used to do. Then Dermatology sent me one of their lotions to try, Age Reversal Neck Cream. So I decided, okay, I'll, I'll give it a shot and see if it's different. After, I've been using this for about two years and I have seen an improvement because I wouldn't use it for two years if I wasn't seeing a difference. It made my skin a lot smoother it made my wrinkles less apparent. They were kind of more plumped out and I really liked it. See, the thing is, I did a little bit of research as to why we need a specialty neck cream. And our neck has a lot fewer sebaceous glands than our face. And we need something a lot more richer. So many of these specialty neck creams, they, they have more tightening agents, uh, they have more hyaluronic acid and they're a lot richer than say just your body lotion So I have been enjoying using using this one um, It's a one step and it's nice. And it has a nice moisturizing feel and Yes, I've enjoyed using that one. So at the end of my showing you a couple of these I'm going to show you how you can spruce up your own body lotion to make it a little richer. The next one I'm going to show you is from a company that's kind of new to me. I don't know if any of you have heard of them. They are called Prey, P-R-A-I. And they sent me some of their neck serums and creams. Now, they have quite a few items for the neck. My first thought was, who needs multi steps for your neck? Because 
this is already another step. First, let me say, and this was another one of my concerns, um, when you use your face cream and then you pull it down your neck, you're using twice as much face cream. So I thought to myself, okay, so I may as well spring for the bucks for another item because it's going to work out the same if you see what I mean, because your chest is a larger area. So that's why I kind of did embrace the idea of using a neck cream. And I've been looking for the one that's right for me. This company sent me theirs. Now this is a serum and it's called Ageless Throat and Decolletage Serum. I like this one, it has little roller balls and this spreads the serum and it feels wonderful. You can even, well, I was going to say you can keep it in your fridge, but my fridge is downstairs and my bathroom's upstairs, so I wouldn't do that. And I know some ladies are getting these little mini fridges that they keep all this stuff in and that would feel wonderful, but I don't have the space on my vanity for that. But anyway, it does keep cool even out of the fridge and you just kind of give your, your neck and your chest a lovely massage with that. It does have um, very, very slight fragrance, but not like a perfume. It's just very yummy smelling. Now, this is the day cream that you put over it and this is an extra rich and again this this smells just amazing i really love it i really do oh. mm, very nice so this is their nighttime formula i'm a very suspicious person when it comes to skincare companies so i was like well what's the difference daytime nighttime I don't know if you've heard this story, but back in about 1935, 1940, a company called Helena Rubenstein came up with the brilliant marketing idea of marketing a day cream and a night cream, but they were in fact the same cream. It was just to make the consumer buy double and it worked out very well for them. They, they made tons of money, but then they got caught. <laughs> and that incident is actually responsible for why there's such good um, labeling on all our cosmetics so we can see for ourselves. But this company is nothing, it's not a scam. <laughs> they really are different. If you read the ingredients, there are ingredients in the nighttime formula that aren't in the daytime formula such as a retinol type ingredient. You don't want to use retinol during the day because it breaks down in the sun and it can make your skin more sensitive. So you don't want to use this one during the day. But this was a lovely experience. I know everybody's different. Some people might like just one and done. I really don't mind the ritual of skincare. Okay, so before I talk about my homemade formula. I have one more. It is Dermalogica. You might know that I love Dermalogica products and full disclosure, I've only been using this for about three weeks. So to be fair to Dermalogica, I haven't really given it a good test yet. This also comes with one of these roller deals. I prefer the roller thing on the Prey product. It's just kind of wider and you can give yourself more of a massage with it. So this one is kind of nifty though because you can squeeze the product out and then you can click it and switch it off. So then you can just roll it without more product coming out. This to me feels more like a serum and it dries very quickly. In fact, for me, it dries a little bit too quickly. I wish it was a little bit more moist, a little bit more rich, so that when you use that roller, you can sit there for a few moments and just give yourself a nice massage. So with this one, you would actually have to add another moisturizer over it to kind of seal in the serum. 
And this one, I forget exactly how much it is, about $82. So it's the most expensive out of the bunch. Let's see, this one is 1.7 fluid ounces. This is a nice generous amount. This is four fluid ounces. And I, I'm going to post the um, how much they all cost. Also, I'm going to have everything listed in the video description below. So you can check out all the facts there too. These are like 1.7 ounces. And this one is 1.8 ounces. Okay, so that is all our specialty creams. Maybe you have tried one that you like. I mean, I only have one neck, so help me out here, help out the rest of the viewers. And if you are trying something that you really like, a neck cream that you really like, let us know in the comments below. Okay, so next, I'm going to show you what you can do if you're on a bit of a budget and you don't want to spring for some of these specialized neck creams. I have a regular bottle of body lotion here. It doesn't matter what type. This is Aveeno. I like this one anyway, even if I didn't add anything to it, which I'm going to now. You just take some jojoba oil or sweet almond oil, maybe a little drop of lavender for some nice fragrance, and you just add some to make it richer. How many times have you seen on the bottle of a body lotion with vitamin E, with almond oil, with jojoba oil? And then when you look at the ingredients, it's such a minuscule amount in there, it really doesn't make much difference. And you're probably paying more money for that additive. So just do it yourself. And you will find that the most basic bottle of body lotion is suddenly so luxurious. And like I said, you could put a little bit of lavender oil in it, or if you don't like lavender, maybe some other oil that smells nice. And there you have a nice bottle of rich moisturizer for your neck. But don't forget to put on a sunscreen too, because so many of us, we wear makeup, we have sunscreens in our moisturizers and our foundations, and we forget about our poor neck area. And that's where the sun is beating on us often in the summertime. So make sure you cover that with a sunscreen. So my takeaway for this is, I really like the neck creams and I am going to continue to use them because I found that they did make a difference. So whatever you do, whether it's your homemade version or if you're going to spring for one of these and you'll find all the details and the links in my video description below. But take care of your neck. Let's just love our necks. Okay, that's it for me for now and I'll see you next time. Now go love your neck. Bye.